Today, we're talking TCU wide receiver Quentin Johnston. We're going to dive into his background and college career, discuss the positives and negatives in his prospect profile, and take a look at his dynasty outlook and if and where you should target him in your rookie drafts. Quentin Johnston is a wide receiver out of TCU. He's a junior, he's 21 years old, and he's listed at 6 foot 3, 208 pounds. Quentin Johnston starred in basketball and football at Temple High School in Texas. He was a four-star recruit and ranked by 247 Sports as the nation's number 13 wide receiver and number nine overall player in the state of Texas. He had offers from Oklahoma, Baylor, Virginia Tech, TCU, Nebraska, and Notre Dame. Johnston initially committed to Texas before a change of heart led him to TCU. He played in eight games as a freshman in 2020, catching 22 passes for 487 yards and a pair of scores. As a sophomore, Johnson took a step forward with 33 receptions for 634 yards and six touchdowns. He led the team in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns and was named first team all Big 12. In 2022, Quentin Johnston continued his ascension, catching 60 balls for 1,067 yards and six touchdowns in 14 games. He again received first team all Big 12 honors. But let's talk about the positives, the things that we like in Quentin Johnson's profile. The first is his age 19 breakout. We like guys with a breakout age of 18, 19, 20 years old, because at that point, they're still developing. They're developing their game, but they're also still growing into their bodies, going through the college level workouts, and yet they're still beating out and beating up on 21, 22, and 23 year olds. Johnson has good height. He's listed at six foot three. He's got excellent speed, though he didn't run at the NFL combine, so we don't know exactly how fast yet. His pro day is March 30th, though, so he will have run by the time this recording is published. He's got good acceleration. He gets up to that speed quickly. He's a vertical threat, though he can win on all three levels. He's got great quickness, got good change of direction ability. He forced 18 missed tackles in 2022, which ranked eighth among all power five wide receivers per PFF. Johnston has good body control, and he averaged 22.1 yards per reception in his freshman season. So while the volume might not have been high, he was still productive in making plays early in his career at TCU. On the negative side, Quentin Johnston struggled a little bit with drops. He had eight in 2022. He ran somewhat of a limited route tree at TCU. He doesn't have a lot of experience versus press coverage. He averaged just 4.3 receptions per game. While that's not terrible, our elite threshold is about six. Quentin Johnston accounted for 18.2% of the receiving touchdowns in the TCU offense in 2022. We look for around 35%, so Johnston falls well short of that. Johnston doesn't always play up to his size, and he doesn't high point the ball in contested situations, which does sometimes allow the defender to make a play on the ball where otherwise he wouldn't have been able to. For archetype, Quentin Johnston is a speed wide receiver. My NFL comp for him is Martavis Bryant. Martavis flashed for a minute in the NFL. He was wide receiver 20 in fantasy points per game in 2015 but multiple suspensions derailed what looked like a promising career early on. Now he's playing in the XFL. But he and Quentin Johnston are both fast, athletic wide receivers who are tall but aren't as thick as a guy like Mike Evans or a DK Metcalf type. The NFL draft projection, I expect Quentin Johnston to probably come off the board inside the top 20 picks. If not, it won't be very far after that. And his yards performance center grade comes out at 62.0, which is in the 88th percentile, ranking as the wide receiver 120 all-time between Robert Woods and Mario Manningham. The bottom line is, Quentin Johnson is widely regarded as one of the top wide receivers in the 2023 draft class. He is an exceptional athlete with an impressive combination of speed, acceleration, and short area quickness that allows him to win in all areas. Johnson is especially dangerous on vertical routes and is a force with the ball in his hands. His movement skills are impressive for a guy of his height. Unfortunately, he doesn't always use that height to its full advantage. For example, he should have a higher success rate in contested situations. Instead, he tends to not high point the ball, letting it come to him and opening it up to be played by the defender. Johnston's production at TCU does not necessarily scream superstar at the next level. It was a slow progression to his 1,000-yard 2022 campaign, and even that left a little bit to be desired. Some want to crown him the next DK Metcalf, but his play style just doesn't fit that comp. Still, Johnston is a lock to go in the first round of the NFL draft and will likely come off the board within the first 20 picks. In Dynasty, he's the top five wide receiver and a first rounder in rookie drafts. <laughs>